Good afternoon. Welcome to dot programming dot blogs for dot com. Uh, today I'm talking about uh, how to find WPF list view using EDMX file. So first of all, add a new WPF project in the solution. WPF applications tutorial application uh, we all know about the WPF uh, list view that is grid view it's a container of grid view so uh, in this article I will bind grid view inside the list view so is a WPF window drag and drop a WPF list view or you can add by using XAML code so here you add list view that is here and the name of the list view so use it list grid because of both of applied here what is the view of the list view that is grid view so list view dot view that is grid view okay that's fine and the grid view columns is grid view column and the some properties like header header uh, is a column name which is displayed in the grid view that is id now copy this line and paste for second column that is name now use entity framework to bind this uh, add edmx file in the solution explorer yeah ad.net entity data model that is model 1 EF designer from database select the database file by the new connection SQL server or SQL server database file if you have a database file then mm, pick the database file from the locations and create a text connection yeah successfully created yeah that's fine now temporarily the database is added in uh, in the solution mm, after doing this yeah that is database.mdf file uh, yeah, select uh, entity framework 6x six, six select you want to uh, in the admx file that is table yeah that's fine Uh, you do not need to create a list uh, of the type of string uh, you can also add a class uh, in the list if you want to add some items in the list view that is the model the three table in the database that is employee placement and salary so close it 
both are uh, amongst are separated so thus okay that's fine now the code after initializing window you can add a event that is load event load list view that is the method after initializing component you can generate a method stub by using refactor features which is already discussed in previous uh, example of ASP.NET tutorial extract method oops sorry I generate a method stub only generate a method stub now use uh, the model class that is the context here model one dot context file in which we have a database entities class name is, is created with all uh, with three some properties employee placements and salaries these are the um, public properties so uh, if you wind uh, with the employee table then use this with the database entities so uh, first of all create a object of the database entities database entities dbe equals to new database entities create a variable for the list item the item type equals to dbe dot employees dot to list type bind uh, uh, what is the bind actually uh, bind the WPF list view so list grid is the name of the WPF list view so list grid dot item item source yeah that is bind successfully here we use display member binding is binding with the ID and binding with the name member binding equals to binding employee name mm, which is inside in the model that is employees ID and employee name that's fine employee name so run it yeah uh, uh, take time to build the project uh, in visual studio so wait for some times uh, to load your output in the window oops getting error what is this uh, yeah that is another process okay it's busy again start it uh, the database dot MDF file uh, and the la LDF files is busy now so getting error oops also the same types of error so close it now again reopen the file 
Visual Studio 2013 Pictorial application Here is the example Yeah, that is your output, ID name and Jacobs.